In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we thank you for calling us together to hear your word, to listen to your word, to learn more about the mysteries of your kingdom, the power of the Trinity, the power of the Holy Spirit especially, and how the Holy Spirit can is, is working so much in our lives and in the lives of your disciples, especially in spreading the gospel, in bringing the mission of Christ, the good news of Christ to so many people and to spread to spread the glory of God across the world. We thank you for all these teachings and we thank you that you gathered us together today with yearning and fire in our hearts, to, eager to learn more. And today we ask you for your special protection around all of us, all our devices, all of the time that we have and all uh, our hearts and minds uh, against all evil attacks, all distractions and all sorts of uh, distracting thoughts. We ask you to anoint us, Lord, especially anoint Brother Anthony. Thank you for his continued commitment to come every day and uh, share uh, the teachings. And also we thank you for all his uh, the, the beautiful way that he has led us. We ask you to anoint him and bless him today and bless all of us so that we can go back with great uh, uh, joy after the session, fully enabled to, to, to work and what to walk with the Lord in the, with the power of the Holy Spirit. We make all these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your presence in our life. We thank you for your favor and your strength in our life, Lord. Lord, I thank you for all those who have come together here. Thank you for uh, drawing them towards you and towards your word, Lord. And I thank you for all that you have started doing in their lives, Lord. And I, I continue to pray for each one of them, that they all, each one of them will come to the fullness of truth, Lord, that each one will be filled, Lord, with your Holy Spirit and your fire in their lives, Lord. And they shall become powerful oaks of righteousness wherever you have planted them. Dear Lord, I thank you for this. Uh, all those who have joined in and all those who are going to join in. I pray for those who are going to watch through the YouTube, Lord. I pray that the avalanche of your power will descend on all those who are watching on the YouTube, Lord. And let a mighty breakthrough come in their lives, Lord. I especially pray for Manipur. I pray that your peace will be established in that state. Praying that the leaders will have a compassion for the sick, for the old, for each one of them, Lord. I pray for the administration to receive wisdom, Lord, to handle the situation. Praying that you take over, Lord, once again build the houses, once again build the villages, once again build the churches, Lord. All that has been destroyed, build it once again. Have mercy on the people called by your name. Lord, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So we'll all pray together. And dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, cover us with the blood of your Son. Cover, cover us with the blood of your Son. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, build a wall of fire around us. Build a wall of fire around us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your angels encamp around us day and night. Let your angels encamp around us day and night. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Into our life. Come into our life. Come into our life. Into our nation. Into our nation. Come, Holy Spirit, help us. Come, Holy Spirit, help us. In Jesus' name. In, in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Amen. So we have been uh, talking about the Holy Spirit and we have been discussing about the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Uh, so a few more points, words we'll see from the scripture uh, regarding uh, what the Bible tells us about wisdom. One thing we all have to understand that the wisdom in the Old Testament that manifested and the wisdom that manifests in the New Testament uh, are having has the same foundation that comes from God but it has a different face. For example, in the New Testament, the wisdom is given to us to choose what God wants in our life. Wisdom is given to us to choose things that are not perishable. That are not perishable. So that, 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 that is the why God gives each and every one who believes in Jesus this wisdom. So that we can choose things that build, builds us up to eternal life. Which will, lay very, which will lay a strong, very strong foundation to build a life towards heaven. When you have the wisdom ruling your heart and your mind, then you know that uh, these things are all fleeting moments, you know. 
you're just passing through like a pilgrimage like a tourist you know you're passing by so when wisdom works in our life uh, this is what we sense i remember uh, many years ago once one girl she was studying in school. now she's become a very big girl uh, she was studying in school maybe around 10th or something she told me i used to go to their house and tell them the word of god and one day she told i saw a dream uh, that i saw a dream uh, and then i saw a dream of yours i saw jesus feeding you with bread and giving you water to drink okay so then i i i, I wondered what it can mean but after few days i saw this in the scripture okay we find that in sirach chapter 15 verses 3 ड्रिंकोड Feed us with bread and water. What is this bread? It is the bread of learning. And what is this water? It is wisdom. So bread and wisdom is given to us, so that we we build on a very a strong foundation in our life. I know all of us might have had different experience connected with wisdom. How many times in life wisdom gave, uh, gave you the grace to uh, choose the right step to take? You know. to the take take the right step forward you know the wisdom will always guide us to take the right choice towards god towards things that are not perishable there is nothing on earth that is not perishable when you see the history of the world the continents keep changing nations keep changing governments keep changing the governments that think that they will be forever they also change they also be and give way to other governments in so in the same way everything will change the houses you are building the job everything will change all things are changing you know so all the things on earth are perishable who knows the, the mobile phone you are we are using now after 10 years will throw it away because there will be better technology coming in you know yes. better technology coming in today i was trying to design one uh, cover in one uh, there's a canva app you know mm -hmm. in the canva app i have one of a new book which i am planning about the holy spirit so that cover i was just designing i wanted to put the seven lamp stand on the cover so when i took the cover I, there was no flame you know mm -hmm. there is, on the pictures there are no flames so only the uh, that model is that the model of the seven lamp stand right so then uh, then as i was trying to work on it suddenly i saw in a place where you can edit mm. the picture and they they, they told to take a, take the scroll, scroll and make a like a lamp you know like a flame over the uh, over the um, lamp you know seven markings i had to do and then when i clicked one button the artificial intelligence took over and created that flame wow so things are all changing you know so all that we are we try to build our life on will all change so wisdom will first thing we have to understand wisdom will help us to choose the right things to build our life for the kingdom of god and other side wisdom will also help us in the things on the earth so that we can do the things rightly and in a proper way if you look at the prophet daniel shadrach mesach abednego the bible tells us here we can just look in daniel chapter 1 daniel 1 okay daniel 1 daniel 1 verses 20 daniel 1 20 in every matter of wisdom and understanding concerning which the king inquired of them he found them 
ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom. Yeah. In every matter of wisdom and understanding concerning which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians. Ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his kingdom. In his whole kingdom. So that is what you see. So when wisdom starts functioning in us, we become ten times better. And we need to become. Hmm. So, so in the New Testament, it's very simple to receive the wisdom. Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our Savior. It is from Jesus the wisdom flows into our life. The Spirit of wisdom gives us. The Holy Spirit gives us the wisdom. And the St. James said it very beautifully. Ask. Those who do not have wisdom, they should be asking. So when you ask, and you ask sincerely, you will get the wisdom of God. Here again in Daniel chapter seven, chapter one verses seventeen. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and skill in every aspect of literature and wisdom. Daniel also had insight into all visions and dreams. Yeah. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and skill in every aspect of. Literature and wisdom. They had not studied it. It was not necessary to study them. But they had that wisdom regarding the literature also. Of that land. Daniel also had insight in all visions and dreams. Now what was the reason why the Lord gave the four young men such wisdom? What was the reason? Because they loved God more than the food that was supplied on the, in, that, in that empire. They loved the, they loved the Lord more than the drinks. That all that uh, things were supplied to them. They loved God more than those things. So when we start loving God more than these things, you know, fame and all other things, God's wisdom will start working in our lives. Then we can be useful to the company where we are and to in, and, and where in any, any department where we are, we shall be very useful. So the, the, the reason why the Christians are not shining in many areas of the society is because we don't turn to the Lord and ask for wisdom. So when he asks for wisdom, he will shine ten times brighter than others. He should be. He should be shining ten times brighter than others. Whether we are doctors, we are nurses, or business people, or in, in, in any background, we, we should be shining better. And because we are not seeking and asking wisdom from God, we are not able, we are not able to uh, move into that direction. So when you, when you have a desire for God, when you could God, put God in the first place uh, in, in your life, no, then the wisdom will flow. When you have love for him, a desire for him, he, the wisdom will flow into our life. So that's what we see here in the book of uh, uh, and one thing I want to show one beautiful verse in wisdom chapter. There are a lot of verses in wisdom. But there's one verse I'll show you. Verses 27. Sorry, uh, chapter 7, verses 27. 727. Yeah, yeah, 727. <clears throat> 727. Although she is but one, she can do all things. And while remaining in herself, she renews all things. In every generation, she passes into holy souls and makes them friends of God and prophets. So understood the, what is the aim of wisdom? When wisdom comes into our life, no, we become friends of God. Friends of God. We become how, how do we become friends of God? We choose the things that pleases God. We choose things which are eternal. We choose things which are not perishable. Here you see in Colossians chapter 3. Verses 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. Colossians. Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. Colossians 3, 1 and 2. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. 
set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth yeah so if you have been raised with christ seek the things that are above where christ is seated at the right hand of god so if you are raised with christ seek the things that are above so that is how wisdom helps us it brings into our mind uh, what the things that we need to seek things that we need to choose that the things that we need to choose uh, to build an inner powerful internal eternal life when we are living on this earth you send it up yeah. if you have been raised with christ seek the things that are above where christ is seated at the right hand of god set your minds on things that are above not on the things that are on earth so all the things on the earth will perish i remember in 2018 where whenever i whenever i go for mass on sunday i i i like to know how much money people have put in the church mm. how many of you try to listen to that <laughs> I, i i do that everywhere everywhere i go i listen not not that i money oriented see when when you know there was something that jesus was noticing in the temple what was that the dose might and the how much gather. they are putting in the box yeah and jesus watched one lady putting old lady putting a small coin mm. so i so i normally i normally i hear you know i normally i hear i like i like to hear that you know uh, how much how much is people are paying you know so i i like to hear so till 2018 in our parish the very big parish we have about 2500 3000 families so it is about 30 35000 rupees was the collection was the collection every every week because it is announced very clearly then the flood came mm. then the flood came in 2018 and i think about 90% of the city went under water mm. myself in some area just around us and some spots here and there uh, where water did not arise so high and even though many who were staying here what did not arise that business that this that and all went under water but after that i found that sunday class started increasing hmm. and now it is 55000 rupees every sunday wow. so people understood it's no use of hoarding hmm. give it away so that, that that's was the why why we have to wait for a crisis to learn this why do you have to learn wait for difficult time to learn this when wisdom is always guiding within us to help people out to give it away so that we can be secure now we to hear in tips where it is various kinds there also we, there are various kinds of wisdom james chapter 3 James chapter three verses thirteen. Thirteen. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. Yeah. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. So actually, wisdom is not that something that you accomplish. Not only. that you accomplish many things in life it also means that you build your character you build your character who is wise and understanding among you show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom so anything that is born of wisdom will have a gentleness in our life anything that is born of wisdom will have a gentleness in our life verses 14 Uh, but if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts do not be boastful and false to the truth yeah but if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts do not be boastful and false to the truth so when you have divine wisdom working in you 
when the spirit of wisdom is given to you, when the Holy Spirit as wisdom is working in you, you will not have bitter envy. You won't have selfish ambition in your hearts. And you will not be boastful. Neither you will be false to the truth. Neither you will be false to the truth. Neither you will entertain envy inside you. Neither you will have selfish ambition in you. So the wisdom of God actually transforms people. Not only helps people on the earth to build what they need to build, but also transforms people. So when you have the wisdom of in you, you, you are gentle. You refuse to be envious. Envy can come. Sometimes some envy, a jealous attitude that we have is inherited from the past generation. So sometimes it is deeply decoded in us. Sometimes it is very deeply rooted in us, you know. But then we each we, we have a responsibility to reject that, you know. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that the feeling of jealousy that comes, we need to reject it, you know, and thank God for, for all that He has given us and all that is giving to others and all that is doing in others' life. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness. Born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition. Mm -hmm. So the selfish ambition is something, it is not only for the worldly people, it can also happen among uh, Christians also, <laughs> among full-timers also, among those who are serving God also. I, I, I remember one, uh, in, one, in one place, you know, the one who, where there was a board meeting among priests and in that meeting, um, uh, they were discussing regarding expansion of some retreat centers. So one priest refused to give permission. All have to say yes. Mm -hmm. All have to say yes. So what was the reason? He said, I want a retreat center of my own. What is that? Oh, center. I want a retreat center of my own. Oh, okay. He wanted in a particular place and he wants to start a retreat center. That was his... Uh, so if he said, if you agree with me, then I will say yes. To your whatever your desire. See, this is all selfish ambition. Mm. So this can come among anybody. It can among among the among those who are serving God as full timers, half timers, those who are volunteers. It can happen to uh, husbands and wives also. And uh, unknowingly, you know, many we invite a lot of selfish ambition into our life, this and that brings a lot of headache. Now, what happened? Mm. They, they they gave the permission. He started out the work. And, and he, he built up everything, but nobody comes for the retreat there. Mm -hmm. It never took off. It started all off, started off a little bit and then it went off. It never took off. So when wisdom of heaven is guiding us, uh, we will the self-ambition can arise, you know, it can come up. Everybody is doing so I also want to do. Mm -hmm. The greatest temptation for people like me and all is to go and conduct a lot of retreats, you know. And uh, many times people call, brother, do you have a program in English? Do you have a program in Hindi? Do you have a program in that state, this state and all? So when you hear all this, you, you, you know, you get stirred up, you know, sometimes to do all these things, you know. But again, there also, we need to know what God actually wants to do. So divine wisdom from God, when it works in our life, uh, we, we need to get rid of them. It, it can arise. It can come up. Yeah. See, there's a beautiful word. It, is it a God's idea or it is a good idea? Mm -hmm. Good idea and God's idea is too different. It can be very good when you calculate, when you look into that, when you imagine, put your imagine, imagination into it, you might think that it's beautiful, it'll help a lot of people, but then what about is it good idea or God idea? You know, one frightening thing which I learned, learned recently, one woman, she saw one vision. The Lord showed her that many people are building the ministry and doing many things on the sand. And they're not knowing it also. Because of enthusiasm, because of self-ambition, want to do something, thinking that if I do many things only, I will be accepted in heaven. So I have to do something and all. Now what did St. Teresa Little flower do. 
What did Alphonse Sama do? What she, what she, what she, what she could do at so small age? Mm -hmm. She could not do anything much. What she could do? Live a daily life, you know. So the Lord showed that many are building their ministries of their own desire, own ambition on the sand. So that is the biggest tragedy. And then, and not only that, and many times we don't know also that we are building up on sand. And this is a reality that is happening. So self-ambition is always something that creep, you know. Can you name someone who had a very, very powerful self-ambition? King Saul. Pardon? King Saul. Satan. Satan, okay. <laughs> no, jealousy. Well, this jealousy is what? The, 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 you just keep a hand here in James and come to wisdom. We learned about jealousy. Now, what is the jealousy? Who is this jealousy? Yeah, um, wisdom chapter 3, verses 24. Yeah, 23 and 23 is a beautiful word. You must keep that in mind. 23 is very beautiful. 23 and 24. Wisdom 3, brother. 3, 23 and 24. Yeah, wisdom chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. Uh, wisdom chapter 3 has only 19 verses, brother. Yeah, same for me also. Uh, sorry, chapter 2. Chapter two. Chapter, I, I could not see that chapter 3 I did not see chapter 2 verses 23 and 24 for God created us for incorruption and made us in the image of his own eternity but through the devil's envy death entered the world and those who belong to his company experience it so for God created us for incorruption Mm -hmm. And made us in the image of his own eternity. So when the Bible says, let us make man in our own image, what was the meaning? We are made with his own eternity. That we will never die. Our soul will never die. Either we will be under judgment or we will be with God. So that is this one scripture we need to remember. Genesis, is said, let us make man in our own image. Right. <laughs> image which we are made identity and then we hold. So the devil must understand and jealousy comes from Satan. Yep. So ambition. What was God. Lucifer's ambition? Yeah, yeah. To be God. He, that was his ambition. So we, we on earth, you know, we, we fall into self-ambitions. And those things are not from God. They, they can be induced from the powers of darkness. So understand that jealousy, self-ambition, it's better, better, it's better not to be known and go to heaven than to be known because others want to be want us to be known and then lose heaven. When, when they wanted to make Jesus a king, Jesus refused to become the king, he ran away. Now, for us, those who are having that ambition inside you to become a leader, to become a king. To become the prime minister, all these ambitions are there inside. No, they will all come up in a situation like this. They will all come up. If it is hidden inside you, you are never told anybody. But then suddenly situation arises, then this also will arise inside you. And that is what we see in the political political front. So we come back to James chapter three, verses fourteen. If you have bitter envy and self ambition in your hearts, and do not and, and, and do not be boastful and false to the truth. So, so the, the word the boastful itself does not come from divine being boastful, you know, being boastful and all they don't come because we know that we depend on the grace of God. We know that we are nothing without the hand of God, without the help of God in our life. So when we are boastful, we understand that and we have to understand the spirit of the world is influencing us. 
it's possible to be boastful even in the Christian world. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above. Such wisdom does not come down from above. So which wisdom? The, the, the wisdom that is ruled by jealousy, selfish ambition, boastful and all, they don't come from above. They never come from above. That, that's what we have to understand. So when you have selfish ambition, when you are boastful, when you have envy and all, they don't come from above. So always make sure uh, to get rid of these things when they come into our life in the starting point, you know. So that we can be free and the divine wisdom can flow into us. So we'll pray. We're running out of time. So already 37. So we'll pray and uh, so let's all open our mouth and pray that the spirit of wisdom will flow into our life that we may discern the wisdom of God. And we'll continue tomorrow with this. So we'll, we'll pray that the, we'll pray that the Holy Spirit will give us the grace to recognize the wisdom that comes from God. So that we can choose things which are uh, unperishable, which are eternal. All other things will change. There is nothing that will not change. And we are going to see faster change on the earth. Things are going to become very fast. Evil will, evil, evil will increase. Loss supporting the evil will increase. All this will happen. So the best place to remain is in the shelter of the most high God. So let us all pray. Let's all pray. Let the glory of God descend on our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Everybody, everybody, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our life, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let your holy presence, Lord, let your mighty presence, Lord, come into our life, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your glory, Lord. Fill us with your presence, anointing, Lord. Into our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the spirit of wisdom come. Let the spirit of wisdom come into our life, Lord. Hallelujah, 
Yesterday the Lord had given one message that is, uh, uh, some of you all, the God's wisdom is guiding you all in your day-to-day day -to -day, day -to -day things. So that you discern, recognize that wisdom and do and see how, 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 how it brings fulfillment and uh, success in all small situations, you know. Just see, God is giving a wisdom, you know. It can be in a working place also. It can be in a working place, the wisdom comes. Sometimes, you know, we have to learn to give glory to God. Sometimes when we do things very well, remember that it is the wisdom of God guiding us. Sometimes we come into a tight situation and come out of it. That's the wisdom of God guiding us through the Holy Spirit. So then what we have to do, saw so an image of refueling of car and petrol pump. What is the interpretation? Is this Zoom meeting a petrol pump? <laughs> So the, the God is giving wisdom to a day-to-day -day life, you know. And then one thing message is that that uh, uh, read the word of God through the word of God, uh, brother. I'm traveling. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So um, uh, one thing we have to remember that uh, uh, the Lord is saying through reading of the word of God, a uh, lot of wisdom will come into your life. Through reading of the word of God, wisdom will come into your life. Uh, there was also one uh, message which uh, Christine received through a drawing. Uh, she's actually traveling right now, but while she was in the train, the Holy Spirit gave a drawing where there is a tree with a lot of leaves and there are fruits on that. And the Lord was revealing that the entire roots which are underneath is the word of God. And from that root... From those roots which are deep down flows wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And the leaves on the top with the fruit is each, each one of us. So the Lord is giving interpretation that when we are rooted in the word of God, wisdom, knowledge and understanding will be flowing towards us for helping us to grow in our spiritual life and for sustaining us to be in the union with the will of God. So that uh, drawing, brother, I'll share it for for the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can you can share it. You can share. Praise it. the Lord. Share yeah, praise the Lord. And, and anybody else want to share anything? Oh, 
Okay, then so we'll come back tomorrow. Until then, God bless each one of you all. Yes, thank you, brother. Thank you all for joining. God bless thank you all. very much. Have a good day. Okay, thank you.